Tay Lit. Everybody want to be lit. Tay Lit is in the building. Tay Lit. Oh, everybody want to be Tay Lit. Tay Lit, don't they? Peace, Sub-Zero. Peace, Rosie. Shout out to Tay Lit, man. This lit, right? I'm lit, right? I'm lit. I'm lit. Yo, what's going on, people? I'm glad y'all took some time out of your day to check me out. I really appreciate that. Today, we with somebody special. Right. Hey, y'all. I'm the confident hoe, the confident healer on earth, a.k.a. Destiny Love. Okay, okay. <laughs> See, today, um, I had to bring her on because I had to... The subject matter is right up her alley, and honestly, I need someone that has a thorough, not only background, but an expertise that can actually elaborate on the subject, if that makes any sense. You're going to see once we start getting to the subject. Right. What's the subject? Why are hoes important? Oh. <laughs> okay. So. Why do you think hoes are important? Why do I think? Mm -hmm. Um important because it's a percentage of the male population that just cannot get pussy so if they couldn't pay for pussy they wouldn't get any so if we didn't hoes what yeah. would they do right i agree that's a really good point i feel like hoes are like like i said that's why acronym h-o-e as healer on earth we're healers ultimately like i feel like we give a service that a lot of women wouldn't give unless they have like a 90 day rule before mm -hmm. they have sex with you or you have to be their fiance first you have to propose first so it's like hoes provide a service mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like i feel like that's really important and i feel like they need to be more respected because there's so, so much of a demand for for women that are adult entertainers aka sex workers so yeah. See, that's why I got her on here. She, <laughs> she can take over a conversation, but that's what I'm saying. My thing is, like, also, like, with those dudes, is like, sometimes I had to really just sit there and, and thank God because I'm actually blessed in the department where I can actually attract women. There's some dudes that just genetically just wasn't for them. They didn't, they came out short, pudgy, mm -hmm. no hair, right. small penis. And that's and, another thing I want to say. Like, a lot, the thing is, it's like a lot of professional hoes, especially if they're like seasoned and they've been in the game for a long time, they don't judge you how you look. And it's like, as long as you have the money to pay for the service, you understand what I'm saying? Like, as long as you have the money to pay for the service, it doesn't matter what you look like. So that's the good thing about, you know, adult entertainers. So, okay. yeah. See, that's another thing too, like, I know the type of people that these hoes have to get to be their clients, and a lot of these women would not touch them, so it's like, I get it. And yeah. Those dudes. Like, a lot of women that work, like, a nine-to-five type of thing, like, they wouldn't even bother. And let's talk about the arrogant men that, mm -hmm. that have money, mm -hmm. you know, that act like, Oh, you know, I'm going to mold you into, into the type of women that I want you to be, especially like the, so, you know, the sugar daddies and stuff like that. They, mm -mm. Mm. like, the thing is, it's like sex work is real work and people try to discredit sex work as work because they want to judge hoes and it's just like, stop judging hoes, first of all. Like I said, all women are hoes to me. Mm. All women are hoes, but it's just like different types of hoes. See? All right, can you elaborate on the different types of hoes? There's professional hoes, there's insecure hoes, there's slutty hoes, good girl hoes. I did a video about this on my YouTube. I, it's like seven types of hoes. Mm -hmm. Confident hoes, which is um, the confident hoes, but there's also confident hoes that exist to other confident hoes. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. So, all right, now with the whole hoe thing, man. Mm -hmm. When it comes to being a hoe, like, explain, like, all right, how would a dude go about trying to approach you to either A, solicit for a date, or B, like, I, I, you know what? 
what's the proper approach to try to get like a situation going if they see you in public rather than trying to talk to you? You talking about me or just any other or like any hoe? In general, yeah. Well, every hoe has a different way. Like some hoes you gotta email them. Some hoes you gotta send them a security deposit, cash app, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like it just depends. Damn. Yeah. Okay. The game changed now in 2023. Like, it's different. It's not like, I mean, granted, there's still a lot of, you know, survival sex workers that walk the stroll or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, let me ask you, like, like how, is there levels? I know there's levels to it, too. Like, is the woman that's outside, is that, like, the bottom level? Um... Yeah, like technically, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Like the ones who what they they that they consider like survival sex workers. Like I don't know if you ever noticed, but like in L.A. they got like a, a whole show called Figueroa. Mm-hmm. That's why I heard about it. Like that's where like the Hoopers would be at because I'd be watching a lot of L.A. stuff and it's like basically the, in California they just let the hoes do what they do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like that at a lot of places, not just in California, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, I mean, they exist, and I feel like they need to be protected, honestly, like any other, any any other person. Yeah, that's a fact. Cause like I said, they provide a service. You know what I'm saying? Like, who would who would do their job if not that? You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, think about it's it. It's a demand. If we didn't have hoes, we wouldn't have strip clubs. Right. We wouldn't have we wouldn't have porn. We wouldn't have only fan a lot a lot of things. Like what else? Like yeah, like you said, strip club, even videos, music video videos. vixens and stuff like that. They host too. <laughs> Sugar babies, like old men who be paying. You know what I'm saying? Like older men who be wanting pretty girls in their face. Yeah. We 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 out there. People who be having magazines or brand ambassadors, whatever. Whatever the case is, if you have like a fashion line and you need models, you need hoes. certain things like that, yeah, you need hoes. Yeah. See, this That's is crazy. crazy. I never really thought. If you want to bust a nut but you don't really want a relationship with that, you need a hoe. You need a hoe. Damn. If you want to have a fake girlfriend to show your parents around the holiday times, you need, you a, need hoe. a hoe. Like, it's period. I see. That part. That's why hoes are important. You yep. need a hoe. Yeah. Damn. You want to have a good time, no stress, you need, need a, a hoe. hoe. You need a hoe, so. Damn. Yeah. We're going to have to clip that one. That part. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, hoes are important, man, for multiple reasons. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, like I, I I said this to one of my friends not too long ago. I told him like, the problem is isn't that we have too many hoes in, in society now, is that us as men are not treating hoes correctly, because you mm-hmm. can't treat a hoe like a woman, and you can't treat a woman like a hoe. Yeah, the thing is, I feel like women and hoes is the same thing. Women, are, women is hoes and hoes like, are women. You got it, like. No, when I when I say that, I mean like it's from a mental. I'm not saying from a physical standpoint. I'm talking about from a mentality standpoint, on a man's perspective. Like as a man, you can't approach a woman that you know is a, is out there that's hoeing. Like you will try to approach a girl that you're trying to really date, and you just look weird doing that shit. That's why you get tired of dudes trying to highlight you all the time. I mean, to, to me, I just feel like women who's like good girls or whatever. And I spoke about this in my what kind of hoe are you video mm. good girls they just they hoes in their own way they you know what i'm saying like but you still you could be sexual because all the hoes is just a, a sexual a woman who is in touch with her sexual side whether she profits off of it or not like that's all that that is okay whether she look like it or not you want to add anything about hoes mm. I just want to say just respect hoes and understand that we provide a service that's in high demand. So just have respect. Stop killing us. Stop judging us. Um, 
and stop trying to dress up as us on Halloween, but then want to slut shame us the rest of the year. Mm. On that note, we out on this one. Um, give me your social media and stuff. Follow me on um, YouTube at the Confident Ho. Um, at T H E C O N F I D E N T H O E, and on Instagram. Give me on Instagram. It's kind of dying, but I'm on Instagram Confident Ho Society and book underscore the confident hoe and I'm on Twitter or X as they calling it now <laughs> at the confident hoe get that in man buy my book how to be a confident hoe because slut shipping is over on Amazon yep and that book is actually pretty good I got it's it it's good yeah